Cool. Let's review the episode. Episode 99. One episode to 100. Um, yeah. Pretty badass. So, uh, Sincho is clearly the hero and Deku is the bad guy. God damn it. I kept saying Gamba, Sincho, Gamba. And uh, I, I honestly find that weird episode. Obviously, I am biased because Sincho is my favorite character, right? After, of course, Miracle, but I don't, you know. I'm a gender certificate. <laughs> After Best Girl, it's my wife. Um, but um, I think it also is a kind of a weird episode to watch in that sense. Because Deku went from, you know, the underdog. And now people say, oh, but he's, he always had all my powers, right? So he was always going to be the best. Yeah, but it's like a gradual growth, right? In the beginning, Deku, even though he had a great power, he couldn't really utilize it that well. So it was kind of like, oh, I, I punch and, you know, so he was still kind of an underdog. And he was still like weaker than many other people with, you know, with curse that could control them. And then he gradually got better, better, of course. But, you know, that's still the, the, the journey and the story of the main character, right? And so there's one argument for the issue of power creep, right? But if we, we ignore that for now, I just feel it's a weird episode anyway, even ignoring the power creep, because it's like Deku is still clearly the protagonist, right? He's the main character. But when I watched the episode, in my, my opinion, I feel I'm watching it from Sincho's perspective. You know what I mean? It does, honestly, for me, these two late episodes, uh, in a way, in a typical narrative structure, Sinsho would be the main character, right? Because Sinsho is the, is the guy that's like training, trying to get stronger, right? He goes to Sensei, he's training on the side, he goes in here, and he's fighting this OP bad guy. It's like, ah, oh, I got more powers, so you can beat me, boy, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, typically, in this kind of anime, but in shonen animes, uh, Sinsho, right, would be the... Uh, the protagonist is the main character, right? But instead, it's, of course, Deku, who is the actual protagonist, who just beats the crap out of him. So so it's a little bit, you know, when you, when you watch this episode, I have a, you know, it, I think it makes Deku genuinely somewhat dislikable <laughs> in a little bit, because he's like, he's the guy here, right? He's trampling on the on the poor, you know, guy coming in and trying to defeat him. Yeah, Shinsu is like, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, also be a hero and, and this shit. And Deku's like, BAM! <laughs> yeah, Deku just, Deku just owns him! Um, so Deku just owns him, right? Deku, Deku, he tricks Deku, and, and one thing, I felt that, honestly, right, from like, a, again, from that narrative structure, it feels weird to me, only annually, uh, in a sense, not from a power scale, because also Deku is very strong than them, but the, in the sense that, Momona is like, bam, I got him, you know, I tricked him with my quirk, and I got him with my quirk earlier, right? Because obviously, he tricked Deku there with he actually copying another power, right? And then smacks Deku in the face with that, so Shinsu gets like free, you can catch Deku in the air, and everything's happening, and like those two guys, right, the, the supposedly bad guys, right, so to speak, they are owning Deku. But Deku's like, whatever, and he just passes them out away, and Deku's like, power up, and he just owns him, and he's like, I don't know. I honestly don't like it that much, right? Because I feel that Deku is supposed to be the main character. He's supposed to win, you know, with his uh, his wits, right? He's supposed to win by uh, being a little underdog and so on, right? But he clearly he's just overpowering them, right? Deku, in a sense, fights really stupid here, right? Deku is like, oh, Deku gets owned, right? From an intelligent, strategic aspect, they won, right? They tricked Deku, he chose not a quirk, right? He has all his, his storyline about I'm not the main character, but I can cope with those guys. You know, I'm gonna be a good, you know, supportive, you know, friend to my new bro, my new bro, you know, and all that stuff, right? And uh, she's like, ah, he got him, great, I can do this thing now. But Deku at the end, then you're just like, up, oh, I'm just immune to that shit. <laughs> like, yeah, but Deku is over. You know, I feel honestly, uh, in my opinion, Deku is the villain, right? In that sense, Deku feels like a typical villain. That is like, okay, you got all your strategy, all your good guys with your weak powers, right? You combine your powers, you trick me, but I am so overpowered. I'm still an incredibly strong character that I crush you anyway, right? So, it is a weird uh, episode in that structure, and I think it's fair to say, uh, in my opinion at least, that Deku too quickly mastered to use the whip, right? Because since you got him there with uh, um, the falling the breeze, right? And Deku was like, oh, bam, I just countered it with my new powers. And that to me felt too easy, honestly. And the Deku immediately is like, actually, I got my powers now. I, this guy, believe, gra Grandpa All Might believes in me, so I got the power. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. It's like he, and All Might, all Might even says like, hmm, he really changed after a minute ago. All Might is like, he's a completely new person that he was a minute ago. It's like, yeah, what happened? He's, he's like, uh, it felt too easy for Deku, right? 
And he comes off as like a as a bad guy. <laughs> Clearly, this like is more bad. I, I think this thing could have been improved, right? Uh, it was a very short backstory of Shinsho or the training. Um, I don't know what to say here, really. I, I'm just pointing that I, I, I would have liked, you know, a typical Sean and maybe like a five minute. Uh, I don't know exactly. I, I want like an episode of Shinsho's backstory or whatever, with them training. But this, 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 in my opinion, could have been a little longer. Just like a minute, not even a minute. This could probably be three, four, maybe five minutes of explaining the powers, how they're training, maybe seeing Shinsho also doing, you know, go to the gym and you know, be better martial arts and all that stuff. There could have been uh, some gradual um, part that I would like to see a little. And also maybe, or maybe more of, you know, Shinsho's backstory, right? It's a kid, you know, being bullied for having mind powers, growing up with that, maybe how he hated getting into the wrong class. So I feel it's a little missed opportunity here to you know, build up his character a little more. Maybe uh, the best thing would be to like have him, I don't know, fight at the machines. That could be interesting. If he, you know, as Asawa said, right, he couldn't beat the, the mechas, right, because obviously mind powers. So that could be interesting, I feel, seeing him for like a minute trying to, you know, enter the mecha thing, right, losing against the mechas, and then being disappointed that he was put in this like an other class, and then, you know, trying to kind of like, get a solution how to get out of the class so on so it could have built on his character a little bit there i would like to see that i am of course he's my favorite character so i'm biased but i think there would be a fitting not like not a ep not, not a whole episode but maybe like two three to five minutes maybe max just spelling out his his life right uh, a little bit this scene though <laughs> this scene though that is uh uh this scene though man this scene where minetta is like Mm mm mm. Oppa's attacks. <laughs> yeah. You damn it, she. And then he hits him away, and he's like, Pinky Minetta combo. <laughs> it's like, Pinky Grape combo attack. And he flies at him, and he's like, Oh my god. I love Minetta, you know. I'm a, I always love Minetta. I don't know if people hate me. I love Minetta. I think he's super funny. I like his, you know, beat shit and so on. You know, I, I love all of it. I love everything he does, man. I love that he you know, went to like um, lady, you know, mountain lady to like be her cleaner so she so can be with her and so on. I love everything in us, man. When he was fighting Sensei and he's like, I gotta defeat her, her powers, man. I gotta defeat this, you know, hot babe and so on. Um, this is my favorite scene, easily. And he's like, I'm gonna defend her and accidentally get her boys. He's like, okay, yeah, okay, Mineta. I see where you're going with this. Uh, it was awesome. But also, he did actually, you know, show Minetta actually being stronger now. Like, he was bouncing around, you know, he was going all um, Luffy awakening something. <laughs> he was going something, yeah, he was going like that rubber, rubber stuff bouncing around there. Sonic time, yeah, so it was nice, uh, actually didn't get a new power-up. Ashido, unfortunately, didn't really get a new, she just beat them, right? She just Shuriken, that was cool. But she didn't really, like, do anything otherwise, right? That was new, uh, whatever, but uh, it looked nice, it was the best scene, though. I think they kind of unutilized the other characters, the other girls and so on, with their uh, mental powers and politics and so on. Um, and generally, as I mentioned earlier, again, from, from a strategy aspect, right at the end there, uh, I think Shinshu should have tried to mind control. I think they missed an opportunity generally of Shinshu not mind controlling like Ashido or something. So there was like, that, that, that was a little fortunate, yeah. Like, he could, I, I want to see Shinshu take over these characters, right, and then make them fight Deku. Like, that, that's what you can expect, right? Deku has problem hurting his friends. He takes over Ashido, makes her attack Deku, Deku can't attack her, you know, I think that is like where they really went weird with the strategy, you know. Um, but uh, this is definitely the best scene. <laughs> Ashido, I mean, it is straight up a Shuriken. This is a Shuriken, right, it's typical dragon input, forward, down, diagonal, you know, punch. Um, yeah, she just a classic street fighter Shuriken. And, uh, I mean, she's just a badass. She also kind of beats Minetta <laughs> with the same punch, so she's like, she gets back at them, yeah, she gets back to Minetta uh, and also <laughs> the other guy, she can, uh, you know, double KO, see you can, uh, her mask is also bigger in this scene than it was in the previous scene, so she's kinda, she flex up there when she has to see you can, it's a good scene, it's a great, I love it, um, and her oppas are massive though, yeah, you know, you know how she do it, her oppas are like, Jesus Christ, she always make them ridiculously big, <laughs> like last episode she was like a bloating powerful, honestly, in that sense. Uh, I think the thing about Uruka is very really powerful. Uruka is like bam, aha, she's dead. <laughs> like, like straight up, yeah. She punches her in the mirrors, in the neck mirrored, uh, and she just immediately basically dies. So she kind of goes coma. But yeah, like, okay. So Uruka is like one shotting all the girls there. Um, 
Yeah, they were. This is, actually, this is very overpowered. I mean, seriously, Ulrika literally one punch by this woman, right? Uh, and then she hugs the other woman in a really weird off by martial art, like actually really weird. And then she beats her too, right? And then she beats the, the both the boys with one shuriken. So, yeah, the girls were like one punch man, everything. Uh, honestly, I think it's a little bit too much. <laughs> I think it was uh, a little weird. I mean, obviously, the fight is about Shinshu and Deku. And so it felt like Uruka and Ashida used like one punch everyone else because it was like an easy way to just resolve the other fights by like one punch. I don't know. Um, little strange, little too easy, uh, definitely. And also that Momona couldn't escape her gravity. He has like many quirks, so that's weird too. You can copy her quirks, you just be gravity again. Um, but anyway, this episode, guys, is the review. So, of course, you get the One Piece today. We have uh, obviously Nagatoro, best thing ever. I love Nagatoro, man. We also took revenge as a one, right? And on Twitch, as last week, we're doing uh, VV and of course Shadow House. Where I say one thing, I think Shadow House had a really interesting twist last week. So I mean, probably the most, actually, I want to say Shadow House, uh, what that means that happened. Because uh, that was really strange, actually. That was interesting. Better see you guys and have a great day.